So here we are again in Port Albert Steelworks. Behind me you can see the steel plant and the continuous casters. This is where the new electric arc furnace is going and some of the auxiliary uh, equipment that goes with it, the ladle metallurgy furnaces and the uh, upgraded continuous casters. Only last week we were here by the steel plant talking to Sir Robert McAlpine's Paul Bird uh, about the awarding of the contract for them to support the construction of this programme. And here we are back again only a few days later, delighted to welcome Darren Wines, Head of Operations from Skanska, another contract awarded as part of this programme. Darren, welcome down here to the site. Thanks for making time to join us today. Tell us firstly a bit about Skanska. Um, what sort of company is it? What sort of projects do you get involved in? Okay, so most people would know Skanska as being a tier one contractor in the UK. Um, but in the Skanska business is a thriving design consultancy. Um, so I work for that design consultancy, and Skanska Technology is their name. Um, we've actually gone off this year as a a legacy of our history of working with Tata Steel. We're delighted to have secured this project to continue that, that, uh, that workload and work stream and relationship with Tata. Yeah, and as part of the Melt Shop program of activities, what is it that Skanska will be doing? What's the scope of your work here? Okay, um, obviously it's a big project, so I'll try and boil it down as much <laughs> yeah, as I can. Yes, um, so, in essence, uh, we're here to be um, Tata's trusted tech friend. Um, obviously, we've got a scope of work, which is um, lots of it's design related. So, there'll be elements of assessment work, you know, where you know, b existing buildings are being modified. Um, and then we need to obviously design the strength and work as a result. There's lots of um, infrastructure and drainage work. Obviously, there's lots of vehicle movements around the new plant. They need to be safely segregated and, and obviously, you know, the, the, the drainage captured from that and conveyed to where it needs to go. Um, but also the design of all of the new uh, assets and structures across the site. So, um, so we'll be getting involved in uh, diverse things from, you know, advising on uh, earthworks strategy, uh, piling arrangements, steelwork design, foundation design, um, and also helping Tata manage their supply chain with techno advice as well. So, um, yeah, it's quite a diverse um, scope and we're really chomping with it to get underway with it. Sounds like you're going to be busy, Darren, and, and, and the people working with you. What sort of numbers can we expect from Skanska and the people in the local community? So we expect to, depend on the programme, we expect to probably have between 20 and 30 people work on this project at any one time. Yeah. Most of those will be based locally in Bridgend. Yeah. Um, our sort of geographic staff uh, sort of dispersion is really from Carmarthen to Cardiff. Um, yeah. So most of those people will be based in this local area and many of them you know, have a history of working on projects like the Comcast plant originally. So for them it's sort of joining the dots really. Yeah, perfect. Listen, thanks very much Darren. I'm going to quickly turn to Dave Murray. Dave is Head of Project Engineering for the Melt Shop. Now Dave, I think the last time we had you on camera you were putting in the new boss vessel uh, some years ago and we're long past that and into a different phase of the business now. Tell me what's, uh, what's your role in this project and, and kind of what, what does that extend to? Thanks Tim. So uh, I'm the uh, lead for the melt shop, so that covers everything from the melt shop to ladle furnaces through our material handling system and all the ancillary plant that we've got here. So that covers right through from the engineering into the construction and the commissioning towards the end. Yeah, now we just heard there from Darren from Skanska and Paul last week from Macalpines. Yeah, why is it so important that we partner up with external organisations on this project? You know, so for us, you know, we know we're a steel making business, it's what we do. You know, we have experience in some large construction, but particular areas, you know, this is way beyond anything we have ever done before. And, you know, you know, we talk about the generational change. It's not just, you know, what comes out at the end, but it's the process that we go through. Yeah. So for us, you know, we really do need to involve these specialists. You know, this is critical for us and we need to involve the best people in there with the right skills to deliver the project. So, the, you know, we all talk about the melt shop as being the sort of, you know, the electric art furnace being the heart of the melt shop. But across all this then, we've got all the ancillary plant that supports it. So over on the plant behind us, you'll see where we're building materials handling bunkers. So some large constructions through there. Behind us in the boring car park behind us, there'll be a power distribution center. There'll be two pump houses behind there. There'll be a cooling tower. So all this area will be repurposed and redeveloped. And again, you know, Skanska play a key role in that because they will be doing the design of all the groundworks for that, the foundation, and then the buildings themselves. Yeah, and of course we're expecting or hoping for planning permission very shortly for the whole programme of activities. When do you think people who, who work here and around the site will start to see things changing and the, and the geography of the site changing or even some visibility of those plans and what the site is going to look like in the future? 
So over the next few months, you'll start to see things slowly happen. So you'll start to see the fencing appear around the site. We'll be setting things out and we're starting to clear areas and do diversion work. So it's work we can commence early. In the meantime, you know, we're really focused on the planning and the execution piece. And, you know, the engineering is, you know, very intense at the minute. And, you know, the process we go through is, you know, Tanova doing the basic engineering and developing that. They will pass that to companies like Skanska, who then go and do the detail engineering. We then work with like Sir Robert McAlpine then, who go out to the market, we go and get tenders, we get people in. So they're in a position that come July, when we expect to be able to actually physically start on site, that we're ready to go. Yeah, and we've talked to, as you said, Robert McAlpine's last week and Skanska again today, but presumably there's going to be a lot more contractor companies being involved at maybe a smaller level. This place is going to get pretty busy, isn't it, Dave? Oh, it is. You know, working together is an enormous challenge. And the key thing in this is it is going to be an enormous team effort. Yeah. You know, everyone has a role to play in that, whether you're a contractor or you're Tata, you know, we've got to work together. And we're designing the way we work around that. So we're looking at building a facility on site here that will house the site team, but we'll all sit together. So it's going to be an open plan office facility where we'll sit together, contractors, Tata together, and work as a group. So listen, I'll tell you what, I know it's only early in 2025, but this thing real feels like it's getting some pace behind it. You know, it's getting quite exciting. And people who drive around the site may say, look, nothing's changed yet. I can't see the changes, but they are coming. And Robert McAlpine last week, Skanska this week, there's a whole other load of contracts about to be awarded. And this place, once planning permission has been uh, granted and we can start moving ahead, this place is going to get pretty busy. And I think, uh, you know, power to your elbow, you guys in Skanska, you've got a big job to do, uh, I know that. And to Dave, to, to you know, collaborate with these contractors and start uh, making this happen. Good luck to you both, because uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty exciting going ahead.